So today we're going to keep working on partial derivatives and total derivatives and do a couple of questions and this is the first one here. So we have here u is a function of x and y and v is a function of x and y and x is a function of u and v and y is a function of u and v and they're asking us to find the partial derivative of y with respect to x and then the total derivative of y with respect to x because clearly if uh, y, if x moves, then x will affect u and x will affect v, which in turn will affect y. So there's a very circular sort of argument here going on. Um, but basically what we need to do is establish which ones are the dependent variables and which ones are the independent. Well, clearly, because it's circular, we could either have x and y as a pair of independent variables, or we could have u and v as a pair of independent uh, variables. Either way, dx dy or dy dx, the partial derivative y with respect to x, given that they are independent regardless of which set we, um, we choose, dy dx is going to be equal zero, basically because if we look at y here, directly it is not a function of x. It is indirectly a function of x because u and v are both functions of x and y themselves, so it's very circular. But dy dx, as we know that x or y must be the independent variables, therefore dy dx is equal to zero. So that first bit is quite easy. Now what about the total derivative? Well basically we want to know how does y uh, move with respect to x in total? Well basically we can use the chain rule, so we have dy dx this is the total differential, equals, well, it's the partial differential of y with respect to u times du dx, add the partial differential of y with respect to v times dv dx, add the direct relation that y has moving with respect to x. And we already, so that's the, the full formula here, and we know that in this particular example, because y and x are independent variables, that dy dx is going to be equal to zero. So the total differential, okay, all we need to do now is do dy du, okay, well, so dy du is equal to 2u, and du dx is equal to 3, and dy dv is equal to 2v, and dv dx is equal to 2x, and we've just said that dy dx is equal to zero, and that adds up to 6u add 4 vx and so therefore the total differential of y with respect to x including both the direct part which we say we know is zero and the indirect part i.e. via u and v is equal to 6u add 4 vx. Okay so that's the first question. Now the second question is a, is a little question that we found on the GRE subject maths uh, practice paper for uh, uh, last year 2023 okay so we have u which is a function of x y and we have v which is a function of x y and we have x is a function of u and v and y is a function of u and v exactly the same as we have just had in the previous question and they want to find du dx okay so basically now du dx is telling us that they want u to be the dependent variable which means they want x to be independent and for exactly the same logic that we have just uh, used in the previous question because u is a function of x and y and v is a function of x and y and x is a function of u and v and y is a function of u and v y will also be an independent uh, variable and therefore we know just as in the previous question we know that the partial derivative of y with respect to x is going to equal zero and that is the key to solving this question here because if we look at all of the answers, all of the answers basically partial differential of either f or g with respect to either u or v. So we're going to use the chain rule on basically x equals f of uv and y equals g of uv. What we're going to do is we're going to differentiate both of these partially with respect to x. Well, the differential of x with respect to x is just 1. So that gives us 1 is equal to, and again, we'll use the chain rule here, d, oh, sorry, excuse me, df du du dx add df dv dv dx. So that's coming from our first equation here. 
and let's call that equation one. Now the second one from here, this is where everybody gets confused because y is g of uv and we've just established that as y and x are independent variables dy dx equals zero the partial derivative so therefore when we differentiate this with respect the second one with respect to x we get dy dx partial equals zero equals and then by the chain rule dg du du dx add dg dv dv dx and that's equation number two and this is the bit that everybody misses but now all we have is we have our du dx in two equations which is what we want and we also have dv dx which we don't want so all we need to do to get rid of that is multiply everything in equation one by dg dv and that will give us dg dv equals df du dg dv du dx add uh, dg dv df dv dv dx so that's equation one again just multiply everything by dg dv and multiply the second equation we need to multiply everything by df dv well zero times df dv is zero so that'll be df dv dg du du dx add df dv dg dv dv dx that's equation number two and of course these two are identical so all we need to do now is go one take away two and that gives us that dg dv equals df du dg uh, sorry dg dv du dx minus df dv dg du du dx and then taking du dx out we have that du dx equals dg dv over uh, df du dg dg dv minus df dv dg du and that has to assume, obviously, that df du dg dv is not equal to df dv dg du. And that, hopefully, unless I've made a big mistake, is basically equal to answer E. Let me just check dg dv over df du dg dv minus df dv dg du minus df dv dg du. Yeah, so that basically is the answer to this question here. And that's how we do it. And it all comes from assuming that x and y are independent variables because we're looking for the partial du dx so we assume the one on the top is the dependent and its sister variable clearly is going to be v and therefore x and y its sister variable are the two independents and therefore from that we know dy dx equals zero and of course the partial derivative x with respect to x equals one this question by the way on the practice book was only answered correctly by 20 percent of people which means a lot of people missed this fact here it's uh, not an easy one but once you've got that fact it's basically just a simple simultaneous equation okay well i hope you found this useful if you have uh, please uh, like the video and subscribe to the gresty academy youtube channel thank you